What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here with a head-to-head -head battle of two of arguably the best smartphones out right now. In one corner we've got HTC's flagship, the HTC One. On the other we got Apple's bad boy, the iPhone 5. We're gonna put these two guys head-to-head -head and declare a winner in this smartphone smackdown. Let's get fighting. Alright, so we've had to hold these two phones back from each other ever since we got the HCC One in our hands. They are ready for a fight. So a few caveats here. Uh, these are two phones that folks are going to have a pretty solid choice from without deciding which phone to get. Obviously, the HCC One came out much more recently uh, than the iPhone 5. And when the iPhone 5 successor comes out, the 5S or the 6, uh, we will update this. But as of this filming uh, in the middle of March, these are two phones that are readily available that consumers are going to be choosing from. Uh, so in previous battles, we've broken them up into categories and speed and see which phone was faster, but really opening up apps and browsing websites and seeing which one loads quicker it just doesn't work anymore. Uh, phones are fast. Every phone, even entry level phones right now, are very quick. So that's not going to work. The way we're going to do this video is I'm going to mention something I like about a phone, something I don't like about the other phone. So if it's mentioned in the HTC One category, it means I like it better on the HTC One than the iPhone 5. So let's go ahead and start with things that are a wash. Uh, means I like them both on both devices, and a lot of these things you'll see are things Apple used to have just completely locked down uh, in the past. Let's start with build quality, and this one is a huge compliment to HTC. They have learned phone after phone after phone how to get build quality just right, and I think they've really nailed it in sort of culmination of years of phone making with the HTC One, and certainly the same thing is true with Apple. Uh, there's a lot of similarities when it comes to build quality. Unibody aluminum design, they've got antenna bands on the top and bottom. Uh, really done just a very, very nice job with the build. Both phones feel very cool in the hand. I'm not talking cool with like, hey, that movie's cool, or that guy's cool, or girl's cool. I'm talking actually cool to the touch. Uh, the aluminum feels absolutely incredible. Both phones scream quality. Uh, HTC has done an incredible job with build quality, and Apple has really been some of the best uh, in the industry. Um, so next, let's talk about, boom, those guys. Let's talk about camera. We did a full comparison post comparing the HTC One camera versus a slew of other smartphones, including the iPhone 5. We saw some interesting results. Um, so I think the HTC One is much better in low light. The ultra pixels have allowed more light in, so you get crisper images with less blurriness going on. Uh, I thought the HTC One had better video quality as well, 1080p video, and also better audio quality. The iPhone, I thought, did a better job in just normal light settings and has a much improved digital zoom uh, due to the increased megapixel count. So if you want to print images out gigantically, uh, certainly the iPhone might be a bit of a better option. Uh, but if you're uploading things to Facebook or Instagram, you know, both are going to be great choices. So one was better in one category, one is better, better than the other, but when it comes to cameras, I think both of these are great choices. Next is something Apple, again, used to have locked up, user interface. Uh, the iPhone used to be, and still is, very elegant, easy to use, and easy to learn. That was one of its great appeals. Uh, Android now, I think, has that same thing. I think Sense 5 really augments that. It's easy to use, it's easy to learn, and it's a very elegant interface now. So hats off to HTC and Android uh, for catching up and in some ways passing what Apple has done. Next, speed. Both these phones are fast. Doesn't matter whether you're dealing with quad core or dual core here. Um, both of them just work very well. Apps open quickly, games play fast. They're both really fast phones. You know, quadrant scores and that kind of thing really doesn't matter that much to me. Uh, and user experience is what I like to gauge my phones by. And both of these were really, really, really quick. All right, so now let's get to what I like better, what I like worse. Let's start with what I like better with the HTC One. Let's start with this beautiful display, the screen. I'm not talking about the screen size. Size is subjective, whether or not you want a 4.7 inch screen, a 5.5 inch screen, or a four inch screen fan on the iPhone. I'm talking about the panel itself. Uh, this is an absolutely gorgeous, display full HD resolution and that is 1920 by 1080 with a ridiculous PPI of almost 470. Things look absolutely gorgeous. So I've said in the past, we've talked a lot about the screens, videos look great, pictures look beautiful, uh, but really what I use the phone for most, you just notice the difference. So when I'm reading emails, replying to texts, or browsing Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, there's something about the display that really just pops. To me it almost looks like there's a sticker on it that you have to peel off and the real screen is gonna be below it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to compare that to the screen on the iPhone 4, which is certainly not a slouch. Uh, the resolution of 1136 by 640 with the 326 PPI. Uh, it's really incredible uh, what HTC has done with their screens here. 
All right, next, Google Search, I think is absolutely outstanding. Uh, the UI, I don't think is as solid as Siri is, but when it comes to speed, information you get, I think Google Search has Siri whipped. And we did head to head comparisons comparing Google Search with Siri. Uh, but for my money, I will go to Google Search nine out of 10 times over what I'll look on for Siri. Plus on the HTC One, it's actually British. Which is What's the weather today? Today's forecast for Irvin is 72 degrees and mostly cloudy. Who won the Lakers game? The Lakers lost to the Suns 99 to 76. What's the weather outside? Here's the forecast through Monday. Who won the Lakers game? Monday. The final score was 99 to 76. Trounce seems a little, a little harsh. Um, next, Google Now is something that I really don't think we've seen uh, anywhere else. Google Now is an incredibly useful tool. Uh, if you have a long commute home, it'll tell you how long you have to go to drive home. Uh, it'll give you sports scores. It just does a ton of really interesting things that I find very useful, and you can choose to use it uh, or not use it. But it's really nice to be able to have. Uh, next, let's talk about speakers. This guy right here, uh, Boom Sound. It's not just the speaker, it's the whole algorithms that go into making the sound come out. And the speakers here are absolutely awesome. In our review of the HTC One, we did a versus on the speaker side versus the, H versus the iPhone 5, and you could really hear the difference. And we did the test with front facing, because as you're watching a phone or watching a video rather, are listening to music, you'd be looking at the screen. So that's why the tests were done like that, and you guys can hear the difference for yourself. So the HTC One does a lot of things really well, but doesn't do everything better than the iPhone 5. Let's talk about what the iPhone 5 does better than the HTC One. First, battery life. Battery life on the HTC One is no slouch. I'm able to get through a full day with 20 to 30-ish percent left. On the iPhone 5, you can add about an extra 10% to that. Uh, battery life is really outstanding on the iPhone 5. Apple has really optimized the OS for the hardware. I think battery life is one of the instances where you really, really see that. Also, charge time is crazy fast on the iPhone 5. Um, from zero charge to full, um, you can get it almost up there in an hour and a half ish, -ish which is really impressive. Next is one of my favorite features of the iPhone and iOS, and that's iMessage. I think they've really knocked it out of the park. And I know that there are other alternatives for Android. I use WhatsApp all the time, but I don't have a desktop WhatsApp application. I can't use you know WhatsApp on every tablet that's not an iPad. I love the way iMessage works. I love to be able to use it to text friends, and I wish that there was some sort of equivalent uh, on Android. We're hearing rumors of Google Babel coming out, which might unify all the chat platforms, but right now, Apple's got iMessages and that really does an incredible job. Uh, next, the keyboard. I still prefer the keyboard on iOS. It was one of the first really well done on screen keyboards. HTC keyboard is no slouch. Android built in keyboards are no slouch. But I'm not a user of swipe, so that really hasn't affected me what I use. When it comes to just tapping on the screen, I still prefer the keyboard on iOS 5. Next, integrated visual voicemail. I love how well it was integrated into the operating system on the iPhone 5. Now some phones have it integrated, some don't. On our international unlocked unit on HTC One, it is not integrated. I have to use a third party app. In this case, I use Umail. Uh, but I really like how it's integrated right into the operating system and right inside of the phone application. Uh, next is app quality. Certainly there are a ton of cross uh, apps that are available on both operating systems, but the quality of the apps are designed for really one or two devices, and I think the apps are still have a little bit of an edge when it comes to iOS. Now certainly you can get almost every app on really any operating system you want, as long as it's these two, um, but if you're comparing the same app, I think it's just a little bit better experience here on iOS. So, we put these two guys head to head, we talked about different categories, we talked about screens and speakers and messaging systems. Which one is the winner? The winner for me is the HTC One. 
is the winner of this head-to-head -head battle. Uh, if I had to pick a phone, I was walking in the store and these two were sitting on the shelves, I would pick up the HTC One and I would sign a two-year contract to get the HTC One. I'm really excited to see what Apple has next. The next generation iOS is gonna be, the next generation hardware is going to be, but for right now, for my money, the HTC One takes the cake. Do you guys agree or disagree? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave all your comments down below. And of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video.